And we're here with the mother of the day, the five-star mom. Carly, what's going through your mind right now? Just so very proud and very excited that um, he'll be starting a new chapter. And I, you know, he's worked hard for this. He's been playing football since he was in second grade. You know, it wasn't always the greatest moments, you know, but, but this is what he wants to do. He's worked for it, he's planned for it, and we're just ready to begin this new chapter. So this is what's great. Mom knows all these stories and she can get away with telling them. Like, she's up the podium and she says he works for it because you know what he was like in the, in the second grade, right? Can you let everybody out there hear your twinkle toe story? What was that like when he first started playing ball? <laughs> so it was his first year and um, he hadn't played before. He had only played soccer um, and he was on the line. And when he would come off the line, he reminded me of Fred Flintstone when he was bowling. And so I named him Twinkle Toes Milton because it was like he was tink, 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 tink off the line. So quite honestly, I didn't think that this was going to be the sport for him, and so I didn't really care. I just wanted him to do what he wanted to do, so, you know, we didn't press it. It was up to him to decide to come out the next year, but, yeah, after that first year, we didn't think we had a football player on our hands. So this lady told me a great story, guys. When, when the decision went, went down and the Georgia staff knew, Dell was the first one you told. Yes. And I, I think every time I'm going to think about Kendall Milton's commitment, I'm going to think about what was that gesture that Dell made? That, that's, the, that's George's getting the Dell yes, I guess. Yes. But, like, that's yes. what he did when he yes. walked off. Yes. What was that night like? You know, it was actually a surprise um, because, you know, Kendall put a plan together, um, and he really wanted to follow this plan to make sure he gave every school every opportunity so he didn't want to make any decisions too quickly. So as we're there, I'm totally not thinking this is coming. He walks over and says, Mom, I want to commit tonight. And I said, are you serious? You know, are you, are you sure? Yeah. Um, and because we've had those conversations and I really wanted him to, you know, take it all in. He established some criteria, kind of, you know, check every box and make sure this is what you want to do. This is a pretty big decision. So he seemed to be sure. So we went and grabbed dad and <laughs> talked through it again. And that's when we let uh, Coach Dell know. And you guys were confident it wasn't an emotional decision. It was just the decision, right? Well, that was, so we did a series of unofficial visits, and so this was the official visit. So, you know, we've had a lot of conversations in the car, on the plane, over dinner. So when I looked him in his eyes, I could tell that it wasn't emotion, that this is what he wanted to do. Now, I know you would answer the question that the University of Georgia is getting your baby, your little twinkle toes, but what do you think he will be like at Georgia for this program? How much does this already mean to him already? He's doing a great job recruiting other guys right now already. So honestly, um, you know, more than a year ago, before this journey even started, um, I tell people in the evenings we do two things. Once we're all done with schoolwork and we're winding down, we watch car videos because he's very passionate about cars or football videos, because he's very passionate about football. And back then he said, you know, Mom, I'm really interested in Georgia. To which I, that was never like on my radar at all. So I know that he's been watching this program for quite some time, and that's what he does. He's not one to talk a lot, but he studies a lot. So I know he's been studying Georgia through all the YouTube video and all the film, and so he really feels like he can make a difference there, and he feels like the coaching staff can help him further develop both on the football field and then academically the school can help him develop off the football field. So. Now, now, Mrs. Milton, a lot of folks wonder when these five stars commit, they wonder can they hold on to him? Can somebody flip him? In your view, how solid is this commitment now that Kendall is making to Georgia and Georgia has made to Kendall? I feel it's pretty solid at this point. Again, um, he made a commitment to himself to, you know, wait until he felt like that this was what he wanted to do before he made any type of verbal commitment. So I feel like this is solid. I, I um, as I understand it, the process doesn't really end today. <laughs> so Some people try I harder. Didn't right. I didn't realize that. But so, you know, he, um, like I said, he established the things that he was looking for, he has been methodical about ensuring that, you know, it checks every box. And so I feel pretty good about this decision. I don't, I don't see a change. So there's questions every mother has here. Do you look, do you like the way you look in red and black? Do you like those colors? Does that fit? And then just what is this going to be like? Are you guys going to 
go, go visit him every game when he plays. What do you think that will be like? So I love red, black, and white. Um, I'm actually a member of a national sorority, uh, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority wow. Incorporated, that is red and white. So oh, yeah. I already have those colors. Um, but aside from that, um, my family actually lived on the East Coast. So I have a brother in Florida. I have my parents in Maryland, a brother in Southern Indiana. And they both already said, hey, I can get to the games anytime, right? So my brothers at least. And so, you know, and for me, I, you know, I live very close to an airport. I have no problems in flying to get to the games. And so that's something we'll be committed to doing and making as many games as possible home or away. No problems with that. All right, guys, that's Carly Milton. We can, we can call you the mother of ballers, right? Are we allowed to call you the mother of ballers? Yep.